Hey YouTube, welcome back to Axis and Allies. The Garrison Detroit here coming to you from the bunker here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey with Operation Icarus. Operation Icarus is a two-person game. Chaplin will be playing with the Allies and I, Detroit, will be playing with the Axis powers. All right, so let's get on it. Germany starts this game with 30 IPCs. Germany will be buying one uh, aircraft carrier, one weapons technological development for round two, for a total of 20 IPCs. For round two, Germany will be carrying over a total of 10 IPCs. Germany will be declaring a total of five battles. There are, there are the battles that follow as Battle for Sea Zones 106, 110, Battle for Paris, Battle for Southern France, and last but not least, the Battle for Yugoslavia. So let's go ahead with the actual combat movements. The German U-boats in 118 and 117 will attack Sea Zone 106. The German U-boats in 103 and 108 will in turn attack Sea Zone 110. That attack will be supported by the, the German Luftwaffe fighter coming from Holland, Belgium at a movement of one. We'll have three movements left. That attack will be supported as well by three tactical bombers and one fighter coming from Western Germany at a movement of one and two. All of these aircraft will have three movements left in their fuel gauges as well. All right. In addition to that attack, we have two strategic and one tactical bomber at a movement of one, two, and three attacking as well. The strategic bombers will have three movements left. The tactical bomber will only have one movement left in its fuel gauge. All right. So here we go. In addition, the fighter coming from Norway at a movement of one and two will join that attack and this fighter will have two movements left in its fuel gauge. All right, so I believe that does it for the Battle of 110. Battle for Paris, in this battle we have three German armor, four infantry, two artillery coming from Holland into Paris. Coming from Germany, you have one artillery, three infantry, two mechanized infantry attacking Paris as well. Coming from Slovakia, Hungary, you have two armor at a movement of one and two joining that attack. So that'll be five armor attacking Paris. Supporting that attack, you have from Poland, one tactical bomber at a movement of one, two, and three. Okay, that fighter will have one movement left in its fuel gauge as well. Okay. I believe that does it for Paris. So the battle for southern France, in this battle we have two mechanized infantry coming from Germany at a movement of one and two, moving to southern France. The German fighter coming from western Germany at a movement of one and two will join that attack, will support that attack. This fighter actually has three movements, three movements, not left, not, not, not two, All right, but three. Right, so that's two, two mechanized infantry, one fighter, and in addition, one German armor from greater southern Germany of the movement of one and two will join that attack. There we go. All right, and last but not least, the battle for Yugoslavia. This battle, we have six German infantry, two artillery coming from southern, greater southern Germany. This attack will be supported by three armor, one coming from Poland, one, two, the other one from Slovakia, Hungary, and the other coming from Romania. So that's a total of three armor attacking Yugoslavia. Okay, and I believe that does it for my attacks. We're gonna go ahead, I mean, with my combat movements, we're going to go ahead with the actual combat roles. Season 106 first, so I'm going to attack. Here we go. Two German U-boats engage. One is a hit. Yes, one is a hit. The Canadian destroyer will return fire. And it's a hit as well. Okay, fair enough. The Canadian fleet does go, though, to the bottom of the sea. All right? And I, Germany loses one one U-boat. Alright. Battle for season 110. Ok. 
Okay, the British do have a battleship. Okay, that battleship does have triple A. All right, so that triple A will engage. And here we go. Let's see, three, one, two, three. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, and they all missed. Whew. Every time those triple A's engage on the battleship, I tell you, they make me nervous. They always do. I'll be honest, I'll admit to that. All right, so here we go. So now, the AAA is engaged now. I have two German U-boats that do have uh, target select. Each German U-boat will be selecting a target. One German U-boat will select a French cruiser. The other one will select a British cruiser. So here we go. This is for the take two die. Okay, for my stack here. So. One is for the British cruiser. Oh, that's tilted. I can see there. It's a tilted die. It's a reroll. Okay. So for the British cruiser again. Okay, missed. For the French cruiser. Okay. It's a miss as well. All right, so my subs missed. The rest of my uh attacking units will engage i have three at four representing my three tacticals i have four at three representing three fighters one tactical then i have four at two representing my two strategic bombers all right so here we go Let's see if my hand can grab all of these my hands are not, are, are not large enough here we go all right i have one two three, four, and five. So that's a total of five hits, and I believe that's enough to do the job, All right? So the two allied cruisers and the battleship are taken out, but they do get to return fire, and they return fire. Let me just remove these die. Okay. They have Two at four and one at one at three. Reason being, the, the British cruiser is paired up with a, a British battleship, and because of combined arms, that cruiser gets up uh, upgraded to a four, four or less. Here we go. Okay, that's a miss, but I do have two hits. All right, so I'll be taking out my two German submarines, and they're done. Okay, so I forgot to mention that in season 110, I had spoken or I had communicated with a chaplain and he had advised me, he had advised me that he would not be scrambling uh, his uh, British uh, allied air forces in Southern England. That's why they were not scrambled. So I did not forget that. Uh, he did tell me or instruct me that he would not be scrambling. All right, battle for France or Paris. Here we go, folks. Here we go, big battle. All right, so in this battle, the Germans will be attacking with one strategic, I'm sorry, one tactical bomber up, uh, gets upgraded to a four. Then I have five armor, five at three. Germany has six at two because of its infantry, artillery supported infantry. So that's six at two. Then six infantry at one. The allies in Paris will be defending with one fighter at four, two tanks at three, and six infantry and two artillery defending at two. All right, they do have one AAA fire for defense. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm sorry, let me roll first the, the AAA for the French anti-aircraft. Uh, it's a miss. Okay, no damage. Once again, whew, I'm afraid of those triple A's. I fear them. So here we go. Germany rolls. Okay, only two hits. All right, so that's two hits. Okay, the remainder go. Wow, just two hits, wow. 
four hits total, guys. Four hits. Wow, subpar attack. So the French will be removing one triple A and the grand total of three infantry? Jesus, not good. All right, so this is what the French will be returning fire with. Eight at two, two at three, one at four. One, two, three, four, and five. So five. All, right. All the others were misses. Sorry, guys, if I'm not focusing on, on the actual die that were rolled. I sometimes tend to forget. So that's five. So I got to remove five units, five infantry. Oh, boy, not good. Um, three four and five okay all right let me remove these allied casualties we shall continue with the attack the Ger the germans will attack with will continue the attack with five at three all right five at three one at four and five at two the allies will defend with one at four, two at three, and uh, one, two, three, four, five at two. Wow, this is actually a pretty even battle. Check it out. The Allies only, the Germans only have a slight advantage. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Germany rolls. Oh, gosh, not a good roll. Ah, three hits total. Jeez, what's going on here? Three hits only. Oh, wow. That hurts. Okay. So let's go with the French, def the Allied defense. Ah, four hits. Can you believe that? Four hits. Two, three. Wow, 50% hit ratio. Jeez. All right, so I got to remove four, right? So I got to remove four. It's one, two, three, and four. And I got to remove then three from the axe, from uh, the allies. So I remove one, two, and one armor. All right, there we go. Is that right? Did I screw that up? I don't know. Oh no. I'm sorry. I gotta put those back. I removed the wrong. There's French infantry still there alive. So I'll be removing the French infantry. Three in French infantry. That's what I gotta do. Wow, this is not looking good for the Germans right now. If I make it out of this one, it'll be by the skin of my teeth. All right, so we shall continue with the attack. It's going to be five at three for Germany. Five at three. One at four. And three at three with my artillery. The Germans will, def I mean, the French will defend with one at four, two at three, and two at two. All right? One at four. Two at three, two at two, right? That's what the Germans have. I mean, the French have two armor, two artillery, one fighter. The Germans will be attacking with five at three, three at two, and one at four. One at four, five at three, and three at two. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. That's one. Two, three, and four. That's four hits total. Everything else was a miss. Four hits. All right, so the allies defend. Oh my God, they're just.
is killing me. Oh, you, now this is where it starts hurting now. Four hits. Can you believe that? Look at that. Oh, the, the allies are just rolling really well. All right, so that's four versus four. So I'm, yeah, you actually, ah, oh, gosh. One, two, three. Germany will lose three artillery and one armor. The Allies will lose two armor, one artillery, actually, and two artillery. So remaining, you have four armor and one fighter. This battle is not looking good for uh, the Germans. Very expensive battle, very. All right, so let's continue with the attack. I got one F4 and four at three with my armor. The French defend with one at four. So here we go. Two hits, three hits, one, two, and three. The French defend with one at four. And luckily, it's a miss. Wow, very expensive battle. The French destroyer, I mean, uh, fighter gets taken out. Whew. Good for the Allies. Congrats, uh, Chaplain. Very good, very good defense of Paris. You made it expensive. It's an ex a German victory, but an expensive one at that for the Germans. All right, so the next battle is the battle for Southern France. In this battle, we have two at three and two at one attacking. Two at three, two at one. The French defend with two at two. Here we go. hit two hits and the other one is a miss there you go oh, one hit two hits Jesus the allies are defending extremely well at least the land battle portion of the of this phase of the game anyway all right so then the last but not least the battle for Yugoslavia this battle we have uh, three German armor attacking three at three. All right, and then we have four infantry supported by two, two infantry supported by two artillery, and four infantry at one. All right, there we go. This is, these are the attacking forces. Um, let me send a fighter in here as well also. That attack. So it'll be another three. Alright. And then the Yugoslavians defend five at two. There we go. I missed my cup. I need my my die cup. My hands are just not big enough to even roll the dice. So here we go. To shake the die, actually. All right, so, oh, not good. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Two, four, five. Now, I say not good because it was not my intent for the Germans to get stuck in Yugoslavia, all right? I sent way too much. I should have kept that fighter out. That would have made a difference, all right? So then the all five Yugoslavians are out. Okay, they do defend that five at two. There we go. And of course, they defend very well. Three hits. Wow. Three hits. Expensive land battles for the German army here. Let me take out three. Okay, all five uh, Yugoslavian infantry are removed from the board. Oh, man. Gotta tell you, man, I'm not happy with um, the way things turned out in this uh, in the land battles. Not happy at all. Very, I had losses all over the place. All right, so that's that. Uh, time to go into non-combat movements. I'll go ahead and do so. Uh, these guys were taking out these French. Um, I'll be landing my fighter, my tactical bomber. Has one movement left in Holland. Be moving these three triple A's into Holland, Belgium. I'll be railroading 
two infantry. Change that. Two German infantry into Holland, Belgium. Railing. Two of them, okay. Let's make that third, uh, three. And remove a chip. So three infantry going there. I can still railroad two artillery. Two artillery will be moving into. Uh, actually, yeah. Two, Romania. This artillery will be moving into Slovakia, Hungary. Um, got six, seven, eight infantry into Slovakia, Hungary. Two infantry coming from Slovakia, Hungary into Romania. The three triple A's. And Germany will be moving to Slovakia, Hungary as well. There you go. Um, fighter that attacked Yugoslavia will be landing in. We'll take off, has three movements left two, three, four, and two Libya. The fighter that attacked southern France will be moving into southern Italy. Has three movements left in his fuel gauge. I will be landing, I'll be moving actually, the two strategic bombers by the way I'm going to, I forgot to mention I'm annexing Finland so I get an, an additional four infantry I have mentioned that before, I wasn't actually forgetting so I'm still in the non-combat movement phase have four infantry in Finland. The fighter, the strategic or tactical bomber that attacked France will be landing in Holland, Belgium. Holland, Belgium. Right. Okay. The remainder of my aircraft Another one of my tactical fighters will land in Holland, Belgium as well. Okay, the remainder, two tacticals and three, no, two tacticals, one fighter will go back to Western Germany. Two of my remaining fighters will go to C-Zone 112 where they, where, they, where they will be landing on the carrier once it's built. The two strategic bombers will land in Western Germany as well. Okay. Um, two infantry in southern, I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, in Denmark will move south into western Germany. Yep. The submarine in season 124 will go to 112. The Naval transport and and cruiser will move into 112. I'm going to take two infantry that I moved from Germany into Slovakia, Hungary, and put them back into Western Germany as well. Okay. So instead of having eight, I only have six infantry in Slovakia, Hungary. Alrighty, um, I think that does it for my non-coms. I'm going to you know what? I'm taking one infantry into in Holland. 
Instead, he's going back to Slovakia, Hungary. I railroaded, railroaded one here. He's going to go straight into, instead, into Romania. There we go. All right. And that does it for my non-coms. I'm going to go ahead into placement of new units and place my new carrier with two fighters on board. Okay. Uh, weapons tech done. And that's that. All right. So then I'm going to do the math for my... So Germany goes up by, let me see, that's four plus two, is, plus three is seven, right? Plus two is nine, and Yugoslavia is two, so that's 11. So Germany will go up to 41 on the board. Let me remove all these from here. 41. Germany is at 41. By the way, this is the magnetic chart, okay, uh, research, research and development chart, production, production chart uh, that, uh, that my good friend Matt uh, made. Okay, I can't recall if he gifted it to me or if I bought it from him. I can't recall. Either way, it's beautifully done. Power to him. Uh, great job, Matt. I'm very happy with the chart. Beautiful. So anyways, so Germany is at 41. Germany starts at 30. Has 11. Gained 11 IPCs is at 41. France went down by, I believe, 7. Where is France? I don't even know what... Uh, so let me see, France starts the game with a total of 19, so it should be at 12. There we go. So 51 IPCs, that's what Germany's collecting. Germany will have a couple of national objectives, and they are as follows. Let's see. <clears throat> I think only one NL, I mean national objective. I don't have that one. No, no. No. Yes, Germany controls both Denmark, Norway, while Sweden is neither pro-allied nor allied control. I don't control that one. No. I don't have the five submarines. Oh, and I'm not at war with the Soviet Union. So that's actually 10. So, right, so that's 10. Germany is at 41 plus 10. That's 51. Okay, that's 51 IPCs plus the 19 from the fall of France. So Germany has a total of 70 IPCs. It did carry over 10 from round one. So Germany has currently 80 IPCs in its treasury, right? And um, all right, so I believe that does it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not too happy with the ground battles, how they turned out for uh, Germany. Uh, this uh, battle here for Yugoslavia, uh, I wasn't hoping or expecting Germany to take Yugoslavia. I was hoping just to leave that for the Italians. Heck, but it is what it is. Uh, also, the battle for Paris proved to be more expensive than what I initially thought. Uh, I, I know that by me throwing that additional armor down south into, into Paris, along with the two additional uh, mechanized infantry that normally would have gone to Paris... Uh, does make a difference, but I was hoping that it wouldn't make that much of a difference. And I played this scenario before, and it normally doesn't make a difference. But in this instance, it did. The Allies just defended extremely well, and they made the Battle of Paris a very expensive endeavor for the Germans. All right, my brothers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's long, it's 30 minutes long. I try to make it as quick as possible, but you know how it is uh, with a YouTube Wars uh, game. All right, guys, it is now officially round two. I mean, sorry, it is round one, uh, Russia t Russia's turn. Chaplin, you're up, brother. All right, real quick, I was forgetting to do the recap, final disposition of forces here. Uh, as always, I tend to forget to do that. So in season 106, you have one German U-boat, 
Season 112, one German U-boat, destroyer, a battleship, naval transport, cruiser, aircraft carrier with two fighters. Uh, Western Germany, you have four infantry, uh, two tactical bombers, one fighter, two strategic bombers. In Holland, Belgium, you have two infantry, three tactical bombers, and three triple A's. In um, France, four armor. Southern France, one armor. Yugoslavia, three armor, three infantry, two artillery. Slovakia, Hungary, six infantry, one artillery, three triple A. Romania, five infantry, two artillery. And Poland, three infantry. Finland, seven infantry. And I believe that does it for the disposition of forces. All right. Chaplain, you're up again. All right, real quick, I was forgetting to do the recap, final disposition of forces here. Uh, as always, I tend to forget to do that. So in season 106, you have one German U-boat. Season 112, one German U-boat, destroyer, a battleship, naval transport, cruiser, aircraft carrier with two fighters. Uh, Western Germany, you have four infantry. Uh, two tactical bombers, one fighter, two strategic bombers. In Holland, Belgium, you have two infantry, three tactical bombers, and three triple A's. In um, France, four armor. Southern France, one armor. Yugoslavia, three armor, three infantry, two artillery. Slovakia, Hungary, six infantry, one artillery, three triple-A. Romania, five infantry, two artillery, and Poland, three infantry. Finland, seven infantry. And I believe that does it for the disposition of forces. All right. Chaplain, you're up again.